Greetings. I thank the National Library Service, specifically the National Heritage Library in Belmopan, for this opportunity to make a brief statement about the Image Factory Art Foundation Book and Printed Matter Collection. Today, the 6th of December 2021, I want to address three questions. My name is Yasser Musa, and I am the director of the Image Factory Art Foundation in Belize City. The first of the three questions comes like this. How did the collection come about? In one word, I would say love. I love books. The way they feel, the way the pages carry on and further our understanding, our suspense, our knowledge. Books make me feel the world around me. This collection of 2,000 plus books and printed matter came to be over time, from around 1990 to 2020. So, 30 solid years, three decades in wrong figures. I have spent 30 years in bookstores, libraries, my own space with books, spaces with, with family books. I see books as oxygen for the mind as something that is full of appetite, wide with curiosity, as a helpful companion for ideas and concepts. Because of my connection to the Image Factory Art Foundation as its director since 1995, I have also had the privilege to publish and receive books from others. All books that were given to me are in this collection. Many of the books have very personal meaning to me. A book that had a dramatic and profound impact on me early is the, ninth, is the 160 page Medium is the Massage. It is composed in an experimental collage style with text superimposed on visual elements and vice versa. The second important question I want to address, why donate the collection? Well, when the Image Factory turned 25 years old in June of 2020, in the middle of the pandemic, I decided to give the books as a gift to the National Library System, in particular the Heritage Library. The librarian Feline Caetano came to the factory and we had a long discussion on the donation. I found her very respectful and insightful in that meeting. It was a pivotal meeting for me as it convinced me that the collection would go and serve a greater good than just sitting in the factory hidden and mostly untouched. And since the collection has a wide range of topics from visual art to politics, novels and short stories to poetry, archaeology to sociology, I see this eclectic diversity of printed matter on books better served in a wide community sense. The third and final question I want to address. What do I think the collection should be used for? Well, that's a very in intense and difficult question to answer, but I see the collection as a living entity. It should be designed into an experience. Perhaps it should be mixed with art, art with a capital A, music, performance, poetry readings, or just reading in silence. It should be a spark for many to reach forward and contribute their cultural items to our public institutions, for them to invent and create scenarios where there can be participation and action. Sure, it is a cliché to say that people don't read, but for those who do, well, they are special, and they are the ones that can be the sparkers, the truth-tellers, the ones with insight and coherence to pass and press forward for better actions in society. I also feel that I have a responsibility to add to the same collection that I have collected on and share further my ideas with the library system. 
so that a culture of giving for a bigger and wider purpose could be developed. One of the best parts of the collection, in my view, are the books that were made with the factory stamp. Made in Belize, so to speak. Published in Belize. I say this because in each of those publications, there was a collaboration and a pressing forward for a culture of production and not just consumption. Thank you.